Good day and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video we're going to have a look at converting between improper fractions where the numerator is bigger than the denominator and mixed numerals where we have a whole number and part of a fraction. So let's get started. It is sometimes necessary to change between a mixed numeral and an improper fraction to improve the understanding of fractions and also to make some of our calculations easier. So let's consider the mixed numeral 2 and 1 quarter. Well, if we use a diagram, we can see here that we've got one hole here, two holes altogether, and an extra one out of the four. So we've got 2 and 1 quarter there. Okay. So to change this to an improper fraction, we are really asking how many quarters in total or altogether there are in the two holes and the one quarter. Well, if we break this first hole up, we can see that there are four quarters there in one hole. So there are four quarters in one hole. So let's do the same for the second one. So there's another four quarters. So in the two holes that we've got all together, we've got eight quarters all together. So four there and four there makes our eight quarters in our two holes. Plus we've got this extra one quarter here. So that makes our nine quarters in total. So two and a quarter is the same as nine quarters in total. So we can count them up. One, two, three, four quarters, five, six, seven, eight quarters, and the extra one is nine quarters. Okay, so there is a quicker way than having to draw the diagrams though. So again, we're going to consider this two and one quarter. So we'll put our diagrams back that we had before. So four quarters, eight quarters, and an extra one is our nine quarters. But what our quicker way is, is we just multiply the whole number, this two, by the denominator, the 4. So we're going to take that 2 and the 4, we're going to multiply those together. So our 2 times 4 is 8. And what that does is it tells us how many quarters there are in the two holes. So 4 quarters and another 4 gave us our 8. So 2 lots of 4 gave us our 8. Now we've just got to add the numerator of the fraction part, so the number up the top. So we just take our 8 and add that extra 1 quarter and that gives us 9. So that tells us now that there are 9 quarters altogether. So this 9 now becomes the numerator and our quarter, our 4 stays the same. So we've got 9 quarters altogether. Okay, so let's consider another mixed numeral of 1 and 3 fifths. So let's again just draw a diagram just to double check. So we've got one hole and three fifths. So this has been cut up into five equal pieces and we've got three of them. So one hole and three fifths. So to change this to an improper fraction, we're really asking how many fifths there are in total in the one hole and three fifths. So we're going to take this one hole and cut it up into five equal pieces. And you'll notice that there are five colored in there. So we've got five fifths that make up that one hole. Now we're going to add the extra three fifths over here. So that means we've got five there and another three here. So we've got eight fifths in total. But remember, there is a quicker way than having to draw the diagrams. So again, we're going to have a look at this. So we're going to look at one and three fifths again. And here's our diagrams that we were just working with. And let's look at our quicker way. Multiply the whole number, which is one and multiply it by the denominator, the five. So our one times five gives us five. And again, that tells us that we've got five fifths. So one times five gives us our five fifths in that one hole. Now add the numerator, the three. So the five fifths plus the extra three fifths tells us that we've now got eight fifths all together. So we're just placing this in, so the five plus the three as our numerator and our denominator stays as the 5.
So we can also change improper fractions back to mixed numerals. So let's consider the improper fraction 7 over 3. So improper because the numerator is larger than the denominator. And so here we go, we're going to have 3 thirds there. Now 3 thirds, we can remember 3 of them are going to make up one whole. So if it's cut into 3 equal pieces, 3 of them are going to make one whole. And then another three are going to make another whole. So we've got six thirds all together. One, two, three, four, five, six thirds all together. And then we're going to have an extra third because we've got seven thirds. So we've cut this shape again up into three, but I only want one of them. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thirds. And as we can see from that, we now have our two holes and the extra one third. So there we have changing our improper 7 thirds to now 2 and 1 third. One hole, two holes and the extra 1 third. Okay, so there is actually a quicker way so we don't have to again draw diagrams to help us do these problems. So again we'll have a look at 7 thirds and have a look at a quicker way. So there's our diagrams we just came up with a moment ago just so that we can see them there. And the quicker way is we just divide the numerator by the denominator. So we go how many threes there are in seven. So let's take that, do seven divided by three, or how many threes in seven? Well, threes in seven go two with a remainder of one. So how do we write that? Well, the two part tells us how many holes. So threes into seven go two. So there's two holes, as we can see over here. And then the remainder tells us what fraction we have left over. So the remainder becomes the numerator and the denominator stays the same. So what I mean by that is we have sevens, sorry, threes into seven go two. And then our remainder of one becomes the numerator and our three stays as the denominator, what we were dividing by. So that gives us our two and one third. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. Convert the following mixed numerals to improper fractions. So we've got three here, and I'll go through them a little bit quicker. Remember, you can pause and rewind at any stage if you need to. So our first one is three and a half. So the question's really asking how many halves there are all together in three holes and one half. So we take our whole number and multiply it by the denominator. So we go 3 times 2 is 6. Now we're going to add the numerator. So the numerator is a 1. So we go 6 plus 1 is 7. So what that now tells us is that um, we have 7 halves altogether. So we finally write this as the numerator, the 7, and the denominator stays the 2. So we've got 7 halves altogether. So quickly, 3 2 is a 6, plus 1 is 7. So 7 halves. So with the second example, one and five eighths. So follow the same process as the previous example. So take our whole number, multiply it by eight. So one times eight is eight. Now we're going to add the five, the numerator. Eight plus five is 13. Now write that as the numerator and our denominator stays the same. So one times eight is eight plus five is 13 and the denominator stays the eight. And our final example, multiply our whole number by the denominator, so 2 twelves are 24. Now add the numerator, we get 31. So our 31 becomes our numerator and our denominator stays the same. Okay, so let's look at a second example. This time we're going to convert an improper fraction to a mixed numeral. So here we have three examples improper fraction, 11 quarters or 11 over 4. So let's have a look at what we do there. Divide the numerator by the denominator. So 11 divided by 4 or how many 4s in 11? Well that goes 2 because 4 2s are 8 and an extra 3 makes 11. So we get 2 remainder 3. So what do we do with those 2 remainder 3? Well the 2 becomes the whole part and the remainder 
um, becomes the numerator of the fraction and the denominator stays the same as the form. So what that means is we get two and three quarters. So quickly again, how many fours and 11? It goes two, remainder three, so our three's written up there and our four stays the same, the denominator. With our next fraction, 26 over seven, so we're gonna follow the same steps as the previous example. So let's do how many sevens there are in 26. Well, sevens in 26 go three, remainder five. So we now write our three holes and our remainder is the numerator and our seven stays the denominator. So 26 sevenths is the same as three holes and five sevenths left over. In our last example, so let's do our numerator divided by denominator, how many threes in 18? Well, it's six and there's no remainder this time, but it is still an improper fraction. And what we end up in this case is just a whole number as an answer. So we're not actually getting a mixed numeral, we're actually just getting a whole number in this situation and that just ends up being six. Okay, so where to from now? Well, what you need to do is now is practice and then practice some more and practice again. And the more that you do that, the easier fractions will become. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you found it useful.